Right then guys, I am off to the council pond today. Um, I was going to do an intro, but I basically forgot, so I got there. I forgot to even log out. <laughs> Typical me. But here's the scrap man. We've been busy this morning. I was meant to go fishing with the young kitty that I take fishing, but they cancelled on me. So I thought I'd finish off the video, basically just, you know, saying what happened. So I went to the council pond. Um, it was not easy. I was fishing in one peg and I couldn't catch. And I was like, what is going on? Why don't I just flip around like I normally do? So I flipped back round. Boom, start catching fish. So here's the video on me catching a few fish on a wafter. All right, here we go, guys. I am at the park lake today, my last fishing session before I go on holiday to Mauritius. Yeah, I going to have some amazing fishing videos. So I'm taking my um, fishing rod with me and we are going fishing in Mauritius. So today I'm at the private lake, a private lake council pond. PVA bag, I have put out loads of pellet already. Not loads, but quite a bit. Um, D rig, the wafter, that's what we're going with today. Got a tiny bit of tungsten tubing on it, just to make sure it stays down. It's just come off, a little rubbish. <laughs> anyway, gonna get it out, catch a fish. Happy caps. All right, big bang of see in a minute. Oh, forgot to show you. PVA bag. Just a little bit of bag of fleshy pellets. We've been putting pellets out already, so. Wow. So this is my swim, guys. I've been fishing for about 40 minutes, nothing. Gonna recast both rods. But this is a little bit of advice for you sometimes. What I do is when I've got two rods like this, I'll actually switch them over halfway through the day. Because you'll find that sometimes if it's a rig, and if you switch them over and this one starts going, you know it's the rig. So sometimes I've done that and I've got bites. So then I'll keep that rod and then change the rig over. So just a little tip sometimes. And uh, Scrappy's looking for rats. Look at that puncher. And that is not boilies, by the way. That's pellets. <laughs> I've got eight mil pellets. There he goes. Get him. Get him. Get him. Find him. Ratties. All right, bang bang. Well then, guys, I've moved swims. Uh, basically, I can't see anything. It's a cold wind. So I thought last time I moved swims, I bagged up, so. Just, I should have just fished there in the first place, but basically there's people opposite, so a bit of a weird one, but you know what it's like. Got a couple of PVA bags. Let's get it out. I'm going to do some feeder fishing as well. All right. Show you the swim. There we go. Okay, that's there. So I'm actually going to be fishing over there. Sorry about the camera. It's getting dragged by me. I'll pick it here. Oh my God, so literally, I don't know how many hours it's been. It's been a long time, basically all day. But it's banging common. It's got really, really nice smell, thank God. And I bet he's gonna get mental because it's a real slow, ponderous fight. All right, mate. So look at that, buzzing, first fish. I actually put down the hook size to a little size 10. Uh, size 10, size 12. So there we go, buzzing. Yeah, boy. Yeah, he's a nice double, low double.
as you can see, I was playing that really slow. It boiled over straight away and it's a real slow, ponderous fight. This is like an 18 pound fish. Definitely. I it's gonna do that, so I'm not gonna lift it up just yet. I knew it was gonna do this when I got in the bank, but it is a bank. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Oh my God. <sighs> Come on, mate, play the game. Make them. And why? When I catch fish recently, I can't even get up. Mate, come on. Mate, come on. <laughs> Alright, there we go. So look at that bang it for a park leg, eh? He's about 13, 14, I reckon. Maybe a bit bigger. No way, yeah. But yeah, that is a banger. Beam, look at that. <laughs> Yeah, boy. <laughs> Alright, there we go. So look at that bang it for a park leg, eh? He's about 13, 14, I reckon. Maybe a bit bigger. No way, yeah. But yeah, that's a banger. Beam, look at that. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> Right, I weighed that fish, it was actually 14 pound. Well, it was just under 14 pound when I took off the sling and everything. So it wasn't bad, that wasn't bad for it. My biggest fish out for a while, you can tell, I was like, it's a 20, it's a 20. <laughs> no, it wasn't a 20, yeah. But it's a good fish for it. I got soaking wet, covered in slime. Fish definitely beat me up on the bank. It's a problem when you fight really slow and ponderous. I could have let it way before that, but the problem was I knew what was gonna happen. I'm gonna get on the bank, and what's it gonna do? It's gonna get mental. But bing bang bosh, fish on, boys. Right, so this is just insane. Trying to fight with this fish on the bank, man. I don't know why they're doing it today. Come on, dude. All right, here we go. All right, last fish of the day, definitely. Looks very familiar. I think I had this one a few weeks back. Um, but yeah, absolutely banger. It fought for ages, it took ages to get in. Um, went crazy. So yeah, absolutely buzzing, photo time. Right then, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Like I said, it's only three cup. It's a long day, but they're all double figures. So I was really happy with that. Um, one, I'd actually caught one before. If you look at my thumbnail, I've actually caught that fish before a few weeks ago. So yeah, it's crazy. And a few weeks ago, same rig and everything. So, boom, ting boy. Right, Fighting Fisherman on number nine on Instagram, Fighting Fisherman on YouTube, and Nick Daglish on TikTok. And it's the Squabby Man. The Squabby Man. So yeah, obviously like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up, people. You know what it's like on YouTube. It's terrible these days. It's gone really brutal. Um, so yeah, like and subscribe. Bah, 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 bah.